And welcome back to the uh, Talking Bits <laughs> podcast. Yeah, here we are. Welcome back. I'll yeah. take it from here. Thanks, Michael. I don't know, uh, why, I, I don't know why I went for it like that. I just welcome back. Uh, welcome back. We're back. Right. We're back with a long-awaited guest. Yeah. Um, the first time ever on video, and he he seems to be new studio. He, he seems uh, new. Yeah, we're. Uh, how many cameras are there? I need to know. Just four. four. Hey, nice. I see two. <laughs> There's oh, only yeah, there is one. a camera there. That's not recording, yeah. though. That's just a GoPro. There's only the one camera. Anyways, yeah. uh, we're back with uh, our guest today, Jared Hazen. Hey. We choreographed that. We'll put the time. applause in afterwards, Oh, too, sorry. In post. <laughs> there it is. Hey, I almost matched it. Yeah. Jared okay. Hazen. He's back. Um, Perfect back. Thanks for Thanks for coming back, man. We thanks for have, having me. You were on episode three. Officially. Four. Uh, two. Four. Three. Who's on episode four. four? I was the second person recorded... Right. Which hurt. <laughs> well, your but schedule didn't let you beat Dustin. Dustin and we like Dustin yeah. more. So That's right. It's just We know. chose Dustin. I I don't I just don't understand it because I'm homeless. I had all the time in the world, but yeah, you but guys you were, were busy like, that That's one true. Sunday and yeah. you know. oh, okay. I think your home had a flat that day. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was something. Was the, uh, it was oil change or podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, you're back. My coupon so, expired that day, so you made the yeah. <laughs> For anybody listening or watching, you may think that that's incorrect. That sounds incorrect because even when I said it, I thought, well, that's not true. He's been on a bunch since then, and technically, he has. You can find him on little guest appearances on like four other episodes. I know Drew Davis's episode. Yep. You're in there for a hot second. The live episode, the live where with we Hunter. Talk. Yep, you're there. The live Goodbye State Street. You're there. Blake Wexler. Uh, Blake Wexler, you're there. Yeah, Pretty much on all video, of on the video episode, not the audio episode. You're yes. on that one, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot. Um, and you can even see him in some fancy clothes on one of those, but I'm not going to tell him which one just so they have to go back and, and listen to all of them. That's how we it. get your uh, views. Yeah, but it has yeah. videos, so you can narrow it down. Um, no, so you're back like... 50 episodes later? Yeah. Pretty much? For your official... 55 episodes later? That's crazy. I don't even know what episode we're on. We uh, we decided to bring Jared in because we know you guys... Uh, anybody who's still listening is a real fan after the yeah. the string of Us episodes. <laughs> yeah. So we wanted to bring uh, yeah. a good guest back. Yeah, and we needed... Jared, we need your audience to follow you to this podcast. That's what we yeah. need. We, we need killed our members. audience Yes, because they got tired of us. Well, my audience only follows you in the actual streets. It's That's like okay too. Other homeless people, like who am I hanging out with? <laughs> right, they can't they stream. Have, they don't. Yeah, no, they yeah. have they have smartphones and you're really Spotify. popular on MySpace right now. Good, well, we're doing yeah. good there. Yeah. yeah, that's our goal. Our Tumblr numbers are looking really good yeah. at the moment, and that's I, what um, we're going for. I uh, I have Jared's episode as like my profile song, so whenever people go to my MySpace, it just starts playing it automatically. Right, right. Yep. It's yeah. not. It's like the rap at the end of it. That's my profile song. Yeah, Capital Nugget. Shout yep. out to the return our, of our Capital good Nugget. Capital. <laughs> He's in the building. <laughs> I'm not even doing um, like the same yeah. thing on both hands. I'm like ah. <laughs> yeah. On audio, they they wouldn't have known, but now you've given yeah, it away. You've called totally. it. Out. I know. So, my yeah. that was the thing too. My first episode, I was audio only, right. and that was so restricting. You know. Yeah, it yeah. was. Uh, but you were able to wear that Nazi flag shirt the whole yeah. time, and with this, nobody saying anything. Nobody we, said anything. Because sometimes up. you just need to see. You know. Yeah. <laughs> you do. <laughs> you just not see. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> stupid. Uh, no, you're back and you're sporting a new look. Also, we should mention. I yeah. think. Um, you know, this hair is really it's looking good, looking impressive. healthy. It looks very good. Yeah. yeah. It's. Yeah. Uh, it looks natural. I'd say. I like. I've been. I've been <laughs> taking really good care of it. Hold on. <laughs> he's been. Yes, he's been taking uh, good taking care the headphones of it. Off. Oh. And what? <laughs> yes. And under it is almost the exact same hair and hat combination in reverse. Yeah, yeah I've been taking good care of my hair, you it know? It looks good. It's it looks very healthy. Do you water it a lot? No. It looks homegrown. Almost it, never. Did never you buy that <laughs> specifically for this, or did you just have that laying around? Those are Dustin's pubes. He donated <laughs> them for the hat. Well, Dustin's a good Smaller guy. Smaller than I remember. Say what you will about Dustin Aaron. Hey, That's he's a good, walking yeah. a lot better now, you know? I would imagine. He saved those up chafing. while on the Appalachian Trail. <laughs> 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 he, he shaved when he got to Maine and shipped it back to Jared. I thought it was a bird's nest. <laughs> and I picked it gross. up and there was a hat on it. Uh, very gross. It um, used to be white. Yeah? Ew. Gross. Uh, Jared, so what? it's been 
like over almost a year. A year. Yeah, or over, over a year, a year yeah. since you've been here with us in Michael's basement. Um, so what's been what's been going on with you, man? What are you doing right now? Because I haven't seen you in a while, and I missed your sweet, 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 sweet face. And uh, what's going on here? Well, uh, nothing really, you know. Just wow. um, working. I'm working a lot. You're working. Yeah. You're burning yourself. We were talking I, about yeah. that. Yeah, I, for pleasure, not for. I right. hate it. You've been grabbing meat barehanded and burning yourself. Yeah. Is this Texas Roadhouse? Nope. I don't wow. want to get fired. Oh. <laughs> I just I thought that. What's you know, your a What's place your direct where they burn supervisor's meat? name uh, yeah. and address? Uh, yeah. His name is Jordan. I can't remember his last name. Schlansky. I couldn't. Um, um, I actually couldn't remember Peterson. what restaurant it was. I'm not really um, sure, but it's a restaurant. But so you're burning. You you no tongs. You're not doing the tongs. Just not raw dog tongs. It. I'm a just... I'm a good person. That's for pussies. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, no. It, it it's actually a lot of fun. Um, mm-hmm. It keeps me busy. You yeah. Because I didn't work for like a year and a half. Right. And uh, that was just crazy. It gives you some routine, like some structure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That do, is nice. Do you like the return to to structure? Yeah, kind of. I mean, it's it's totally different. Like I used to do medical sales and work in the operating room, mm-hmm. and now I'm working as a line cook, and it's just like there's so many things that I have to. Do you kind of love it though? Yeah, I like the chaos. I think I would like being a chef. Like I've always, really well, I'm not a chef. chef. Well, you know, what yeah, I mean. like a, cook, a line cook. <laughs> or the big difference between a line cook and a chef, especially like yeah. a prep. Prep cook, I think. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, Just no. chopping vegetables all day. Yeah, yeah it's hooters, fine. Right? Yeah, Just Hooters. Kidding, I don't know. Yeah. It's Hooters, yeah. I wear the sexy outfit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's a waitress at Hooters. He's yeah. a line yeah. cook somewhere else. Um, but no, it, it's been good for me. And it's been really hard, you know, but I've I've enjoyed it because there's just so much crazy stuff that happens. Yeah. Yeah. Like, material, though, right? Oh, yeah. I, I love I a chaotic say, job. The kitchen has to be just full of material. Oh, yeah. It's Especially like a kitchen that's not like you know a five star, intense like the bear. I would imagine that's shit. also. I would imagine that's more but chaotic. I'm most, yeah, but not material. Like it's not fun. Well, it's just fun because like I can play around and yeah. like have fun in the moments. Like if we're slower, I'll like do weird things around the restaurant. Like just spit make, on people's food. No, <laughs> no. I uh, like fun. like one day uh, <laughs> they left a skillet on too long and it caught on fire. <laughs> And not good. I saw it and I go, Hey, there's a fire and no one really cared. And so I just like really quickly started putting marshmallows on a skewer. <laughs> <laughs> and so I went over and I'm like roasting marshmallows over this <laughs> flaming skillet. <laughs> and the manager comes over and she's like trying to put out the fire. I was like, just give me one more minute. I got it. <laughs> and it's like, I can do stuff like that. Yeah, and yeah, and I don't get in fun. trouble. You know, people will laugh and yeah, it's yeah. fun. That's always as yeah. the building's burning down. Yeah, you're like just one more minute. But it was a funny yeah. joke, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah. Like, yeah, just for a goof. That's very funny. No, so you've been working a lot, and then are you doing a lot of shows right now? Or are you doing? I know you've been at Blue Ridge a bunch. Um, yeah. I mean, I'm not doing a lot right now, but it's like you know, just coming out of summer and stuff. Yeah, and it's, it's small. It it's small scene around here. So, mm-hmm. but I've I've been producing a couple shows. Yeah, in, in Kingsport and. That's uh, that's kept me pretty busy. What yeah. shows are you producing in Kingsport? Um, six Grist and Grind. Oh, I've done a show there. Did you you did a show there too? Or? I, I did the last one under yeah. Grampy before I did his one. administration got too old to continue, and they uh, they Joe Biden him. They put him out at the beach, and now now Jared's in there. You're like Kamala, you know that you're there, you're our <sighs> local Kamala. I wouldn't say that. It's all right. Grampy's <laughs> never going to hear this. He can't figure out how to do it. But uh, anyways, <laughs> no, he does listen to it. I love him. Um, no, I did the last show there when Grampy was running it. And um, it's a good room. I think my only complaint was because of the dimensions of the room, the sound was not being done correctly. Yeah. So I, I would imagine that was one of your first. Yeah, we, we've things. worked on the sound and we reconfigured some tables, make it a mm. little tighter in there. That's yeah. good. You know, there's just like little things. And um, Grampy actually helped me with a lot of it. He helped me to get them to put up curtains, yeah, stuff like that, so yeah. that we could, 
really, you know, set the environment that we want for a show. Yeah, because for the listeners, especially if you've never been there, and Michael, you you have, but the, yep. those big, huge bay windows is like one whole wall, and it happens to be exactly where the sun sets every night. Yep. Yeah. So it is so bright in there while so you're you have on a, stage. You have a spotlight that yeah, you don't you, want. There's nothing <laughs> like doing do. comedy in the sunshine. Yeah, the broad you know? daylight. Yeah. Yeah, that was tough. I I was like second on whenever I went mm-hmm. there, and like oh, it's bright. It was right when the sun was like in my eyeballs. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. And you, so those lineups, Jared, are you, you're booking the lineups, you're running the show, you're doing time, you're doing everything on those, or you're just kind of like yeah, producer I'm, role? Well, I'm producing and hosting most of them. Um, this one, it was kind of hard to find people because we just switched to a, um, like a set, like every, like second week of each month. Yeah. So we had a short turnaround. And so I just decided that I was going to do this spot. Mm-hmm. So it'll be fun too, because like I want to use that room for people to flex their legs yeah. and like you know really try out a longer set or try out new material yeah. without worrying about oh man like this is a really good show I don't want to like do my new stuff right yeah so it's and it, yeah. it's kind of a room that we can also like bring people in from anywhere mm-hmm. let them try out Kingsport and then um, we can take them over to Gypsy Circus. Yep. And because that's one of our, our bigger venues, bigger shows. Yeah. So it's just kind of like trying to create some kind of format. Right. So we can really make the scene grow. Yeah. And, and it's a cool room. Kingsport I, I is lot of probably fun. the weakest of the three. Just no, to, you know, just where like well, the Wallace is in Johnson City. I'd argue Johnson. I'd argue Johnson City is the weakest. There's only one minus don't tell. There's only one show a month. I just Johnson mean that City. there's not really a place traditionally yeah. to yeah, yeah. do it. Whereas now you're creating two. Well, you're taking over two rooms that are pretty good. Like yeah. I've done both of those, and um, no, Rob, done Robbie's Gypsy. been the Robbie's been the 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 one doing that kind of stuff. Like he's yeah. really good at getting venues. Yeah, and I'm really. Well, I won't say really good, but I'm good at like producing the shows. Yeah, right. And so we're trying to like team up and. He's be more like, like marketing. Yeah, he can he can go producing. out and get anybody to give us a chance, and that's like my weaker side right now. That's hard. Yeah, like a cold call or just walking into a place is. I mean, obviously, I do it a lot for Don't Tell too. But oh, it's, I found it's a spot very for stress inducing. I found a spot for Don't Tell Me. Yeah, I, we're, I, we're booked. That I'm night. gonna bring it up to you. <laughs> no, it's a cool spot. It's in downtown JC. Anyway. Sorry, I was just like you were talking about like going to get stuff. I did some I did some yeah, recon for you. We've got a new one coming up this week. Too. Anyway, sorry. I yeah. just didn't mean to derail Penny on Kingsport. the tracks where it says. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Kingsport. Um so Jared, on top of producing and you said you're hosting the shows also, is that right? Yep. That's a lot. Because I do that too. In fact, this one this weekend will be the first one where I'm ever I, I'm letting prove it do it because i'm like i can't no it's very good for you i mean especially yeah. if you don't want to do it you need to do it more yeah yeah i've found that well i have a lot of reoccurring people at our shows now too where we've built yeah. it up a little bit and they're just sick of my shit so i just bomb that's and, part and, of hosting well right and i don't it's mind like, bombing what i don't like is setting a bomb you know like i can't i feel like i can't warm them up yeah. as much as i'd like well, to yeah with hosting it's like you want to be funny but you also want to be professional right so like yeah we think that we have to go in and just like crush, you know, open them up really yeah, good. Not to, at all. And it's nice, but most of all, you need to go in and just like get them clapping, get them synced up. Yeah. So, you know, you sometimes know. headliners get mad too, like when a host crushes too hard or a feature crushes too hard. That's a very like old comedy thing, but we were talking about that in Knoxville the other night about some of these old names in comedy who will take shitty features on the road just because they know they're going to bury them. You know, and it makes I don't feel think better. it's that. I think a lot of it is. I think it used to be not as much anymore. Yeah, now I think it's just like who's a good hang? Because yeah. I know, like, oh, if yeah. I'm gonna do a show, I want somebody there who I'm like cool with. Yeah. So we can just like stay loose and have fun. Yeah, we've been lucky too. I mean, the Don't Tell Network attracts a certain type of comic too. You know, like almost every headliner we've had, and you've done some of those shows, is really really cool like a lot of them are coming back or planning to come back i'm kind of working through the winter schedule now but like we just kind of struck gold with that have you do you enjoy the production side of it because it's a different thing thing i do and i think the biggest the hardest part for me is just like figuring out how to stay focused on like the the plan like i need to Mm -hmm. post and i need to create videos and like get people there yeah. yeah. And, you know, I, I know what to do, but yeah, 
also at the same time, I'm like, I want to be more creative. I want to put more into this and like, right. I, I do the bare minimum right now because yeah. it's like, I can get that done. I know I can make it a good show. Yeah. But it's like, I want to make it a great show. Are your venue? Do you mm-hmm. find that like the venues or the managers at the venues are very supportive as well? I know that Gypsy is for sure because I've met that dude and, and worked with him. But as far as like they're promoting, they're putting things like they it's in their best interest, obviously. For it oh to yeah, do well, Grist and Grind is really good about that because like I've heard that about them. They they advertise most of it by themselves. Like That's they kind of have an audience mm-hmm. already. Yeah, we're just trying to grow it. Yeah, and, and maintain it. Yeah. Um. So, and they really take care of the comics also, I think, which is a big yeah. plus. Because a lot of times, especially at, you know, this level of a scene that we have around here, that doesn't happen. Well, no, what I, It's a free show. I mean, I don't know if it's still free, but it was free whenever I did it and I got paid. Right. And that well, was yeah, cool. That's hard to do. Yeah. That, I mean, most places have a budget. Yeah. Like, I always try to have a budget. No matter, If I'm bringing in comedians, I want to pay them. Mm-hmm. And so, usually I'll pay out of pocket. Like, I'll know the budget is this much. And I'll be like, well, I want to get these comedians, so I know I'm going to have to go $100 out of pocket. Yeah. But I like to do that because if I show people better shows, maybe I can get more people there. Maybe it's like an investment in myself. Definitely an investment. And especially with you just taking over that room or with really the Tri-Cities as a whole being such a young scene, but especially those Kingsport rooms, you know, like you're still growing that following. We were, I was just um, up in Lexington over the weekend. I was on a podcast of my buddy John Bass um, and we were, we were talking about that and how the scene is really only like three years old and that m- a lot of comics in town are about as old as the scene you know I think that's kind of unique and, and kind of weird like he was we were talking about the difference between Lexington and here but I think part of that young scene and young comics is all these new rooms emerging like yeah. you're talking about well yeah it's just I mean you don't want to the hard thing is you, ha- you don't want to oversaturate yeah. Yeah. But you also have to find like that sweet spot. Yeah, the sweet so spot where mm-hmm. comics can work their stuff out, do different rooms, but also not so much that there's so much happening that nobody's going to anything. Yeah. But we you know? also right. we also have to keep writing new material yeah. and performing yeah. and like becoming like if we make our product better, then we're going to be able to Yeah do any room that's the frustration that i find the most with our scene i think is that so many people are just half interested well i mean you you, know you if it's more exciting you're gonna get more people in you're gonna keep more people so we haven't quite nailed that down yet. right now we're a couple of us are trying to work to make it more exciting create Mm -hmm. more shows through like blue ridge and stuff like that so that we can get people like because a lot of times i think it comes down to like Oh, I'm too tired or yeah. this or that. You know, we all make excuses. Oh, yeah. But, like, if you really want to do something, you'll make excuses to not be there. Yeah. I mean, or to... You'll make excuses to be there. To, to be, there. be there. Yeah. yeah. It's like, well, no, you- honey, I can't help you take care of our children. I have open mic tonight. Like, yeah. Yeah. So... Which it, is a... Not that easy of a conversation, opinion, yeah. but, yeah. you know, <laughs> not so no, much but I'm, of, Yeah. But I'm saying OJ's fine. She can walk now. Things you want to do, you'll figure out a way to do them. Yeah, no, I agree with that wholeheartedly. You know, you make time for what you want to do. Yeah. You know, you mentioned something too that kind of reminds me of almost like the franchising idea of like spreading yourself a little too thin for quality control. Like at a certain point in the early summer or like in the spring, we had several new mics popping up, which is all great. And it was all excited, but very quickly. Yeah, when Blue Ridge, like when Blue Ridge was in that transition. Yeah. And very quickly, people started not coming as much or, or not coming as regularly or not, you know, being able to host the the mic or whatever it is and things came up and then, the, the, yeah, then it's, it's hard to keep Well, yeah, Meredith did her mic for a while and it was like very few people would come out mm-hmm. and, yeah. you know. I would I, always try to get there late and then I'd walk in and she'd be like, you're the first one here. <laughs> be like, yeah. I was trying to get here last. <laughs> Every time. I was like, I was trying to be last. But I, I think we, we all have to have a conversation and sit down and be like, this is what we need to do to mm-hmm. build the scene. If we don't put this into it for a few months, yeah, we might lose the whole scene. Yeah. I don't know. And it's like, could we all just have to get it going? Once we get it going, yeah. we can maintain it much easier. But growing, that's the the hardest phase. Yeah. Because yeah. Definitely. it's like you're, you're trying to find your audience. You're trying to find your voice. You're trying to find all these things at once. But yeah. 
do you think that there is enough in this area enough there are enough people who can and will invest the time though because i've started to really question that myself i do i just think that everybody's still so new yeah people have good lives and they're doing things that they want to do so there's no like mm-hmm. real rush i feel like a lot of comedians like don't decide to go that they want to go pro until later on anyways right that's why it takes people so long yeah. but i think some people will just come into it like all right and they're they treat it like a business yeah. and they work every yeah. day. That's we how you're supposed to. We also haven't had a new wave in a while. Comics? Yeah. I, I think know like Sean's a, class is about to start. Yeah, I think it started last week. Ones, maybe. Yeah. Um, but like Peyton just, you know, Peyton's was our new like, guy. Yeah. And now he's, uh, real quick, can I tell y'all, can I tell y'all a quick story about Peyton? Yeah. <laughs> I think you're going to appreciate this and he's going to hate me for bringing this up. Ooh. Like, I love, love it. it. Juicy clips. So Peyton. Yeah. Keep it under Peyton. a minute and we can post it everywhere. I love Peyton. Uh, I love that kid. I love <laughs> that. <laughs> Not that again. <laughs> he put me on the floor with that one time. Anyways, Peyton, uh, our former guest, Peyton Williams, who we all know and have, have done shows and mics with, he moved to Knoxville. Um, he's going to UT. And so he's been riding the public city bus. That's not the only thing he's riding. I <laughs> got him. <laughs> Fuck you, Peyton. He's been riding the bus. <laughs> he's been riding the bus to open mics, right? And so then uh, everybody, like when I'm down there, I take him back to campus. Justin takes him back to campus. And Justin called me the other night and he was like, it, apparently they always like stop by Taco Bell on their way home, right? That's the only leading thing. But Justin called me and he was like, um, I got to tell you about your boy. And I was like, he's not my boy. And he was like, yeah, he is your boy, Peyton. You did know he hit Peyton on him? Did? No, no, no. And I was like, what did Peyton do? And he's like, Peyton got booked on a show. And I'm not going to say which show. I'm not going to say who. I'm not going to say ever, anybody involved except Peyton because he he will come on and talk about it. Um, I don't know if it's because I assume it's he moved to a new city and he thinks nobody knows me down here. I can start from scratch. I can do whatever I want to do. I can be a character, whatever. He went on stage. <laughs> he was supposed to do like seven or eight minutes. He went on stage with a hammer and kept threatening this woman in the front row <laughs> that if she didn't laugh he was gonna beat the shit out of her with this hammer Peyton <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you <laughs> like what the fuck dude? What, if, what, if, what if the top came off it and gets then... better oh so, Jesus he hit her so he didn't really do material here's the problem Justin said he had a great set on Sunday like three days before and so he told him don't stress just do your the thing you did on Sunday just do that instead of doing that he did hammer stuff right and so he's doing hammer stuff and he gets a light at three he was supposed to do seven and he did the right re- he came off he did a few more seconds that he came off at three as he should and then he got swamped in the hall by all the local people involved with like that production and stuff and they're all basically just telling him he's banned from ever doing one of their shows again apparently it's pretty bad and then <laughs> apparently <laughs> well then apparently they said uh they were like we well, can't do this room but you can do another room why would they, they produce okay. right okay well i don't know i don't uh, we'll talk after about more details but it was like, okay and then he was like okay well i'll do the other room but i'm gonna bring the hammer <laughs> like he basically threatened to bring the hammer as a bit and then they were like, okay, then you can't do that one either. And then Justin was like, oh, fuck them, dude. You can do Don't Tell. And he was like, I can? And he was like, yes. And then they walk outside to go because Justin's taking him back to campus. And they get in the car and he's like, so about this Don't Tell thing? Justin was like, absolutely not. I was just saying that to piss them off. He's like, you're never going to do Don't Tell. And also, we're not doing Taco Bell tonight. You're in trouble. <laughs> Was Justin buying the Taco Bell? I doubt it. That's so fucking funny, Yeah, that fuck. That's a very condensed version of everything. We'll talk more after. But Jesus Christ, is that funny? And uh, Peyton Peyton will be on soon. I'm sure, man. To come on and talk about, I just I told Justin when he called me, we were dying laughing. I was like, it is. I think it's from the same place as every bomb where you're like, I was just trying to get a laugh. It's just. In his brain, he thought the hammer would do it. Well, I mean, I he's know. young, but he's very young. He's but, eighteen, but still, like, <laughs> don't bring a hammer. Yeah. Also, I was like, I'll did he ride somebody. the bus with the hammer? <laughs> <laughs> and Justin was like, he absolutely did. He had it in the book bag, and I was like, he fucking rode the bus with a hammer. I mean, maybe don't threaten somebody with the maybe riding the bus. Weapon. Like public transit has gone to him. <laughs> like yeah. he's just paranoid. <laughs> he's now. not the only one with the hammer on that bus. Yeah. I think. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's Anyways, not the worst thing. It's, it's like, don't make me pull back. the hammer back. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah that's. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, time. no, not a failed gun reference. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it landed. It, it took, it, it a, took second. a second. That was a, that was too clever. It I took a second. Um, yeah. Let me oh, see here. Jesus. So yeah, have you ever taken a hammer on stage before? Have you ever done that? No, uh, yeah. I've taken some stupid things on stage. Like I My used club. to grab, I used to grab these uh, live plants from mm-hmm. around different bars and put them on stage with me <laughs> and then just like do weird stuff just you and a plant yeah, yeah. i mean like i would just like between i would two set ferns a, type shit well i'd I'd, yeah. se- I'd set a scene and then just like play around and like i don't know but i was also 33 when i did it so there was no <laughs> like, <laughs> you're not you're just so young yeah you know? i didn't do as many stupid things yeah. as i probably would have at 18 at 18 i probably would have came out and like with a gun with a hammer no, maybe. Yeah, no <laughs> but, gun, maybe hammer. Um, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Like, I was a completely different person when I was 18. Do you so. have one of those bombs that just lives in your head forever? Like, it wakes you up at night? Yeah. I The first time I did this club in Tulsa, it was just an open mic. Mm-hmm. But it was like 100 and something people there. They were waiting for the headliner. Wow. It was like eight open micers and then a feature and then a headliner. Mm, mm. And so I was like, oh, cool. Like, the headliner's going to be here. I'm going to get to, like, perform in front of, like, the club owner and, like, all these people. And they're like, it's clean. And I'm like, okay. So I go up and I do, like, my best three minutes clean. And hardly any laughs. Oh. For that many people, that was the first time that it happened. And I yeah. was just like. For 100, that's tough. Oh, no. Like, I started panicking hard. <laughs> and I'm, like, freaking out. And I'm walking through the audience. And people won't even look at me. Oh. And someone came out from the back and was like, you're so funny. That was amazing. And I was like, tell them. Like, <laughs> you know, I'm just like. <laughs> Do you think they said that just so you don't kill yourself later? Is Maybe. That yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, it was yeah. perfect timing. Uh-huh. Uh, Those are hard. I have, a, I have something I would I don't know. I think you were on this show. I think you were on our podcast before we did this show. But it was the show that we did last year that uh that that I put together and I hosted and Oh yeah, Kaifa. that was amazing. Kaifa, yeah. No, it was actually really fun. It was fun, but there was like ten people there Those and you cool. had my favorite uh bit I've ever seen in my life, which is where you walked to every single person <laughs> and handed them the microphone <laughs> and introduced your you introduced yourself. And had every single person introduce themselves. Yeah, and I just want to hear why. Didn't you, you also? Well, exit I think the front the door at one point. There I tried like, to, but it was locked. There was a door directly what? behind stage. The oh, cops, yeah. the cops were driving past, and I was like, "Run!" Oh, yeah, <laughs> and I tried yeah. to hit the exit, and it was locked. And I was like, "I guess we'll do the show." <laughs> like, yeah. I was just good times. I was so afraid that day because, like, I hadn't done thirty minutes in a while, yeah. and I was kind of panicking. And I was like, just go have fun. Talk about the room. Do something that a headliner would do. You know, just be confident. You know your stuff. Yeah. And just kill some time. But then I walked in and saw like 10 people and saw the <laughs> karaoke machine. Yeah. <laughs> and like all those other things. The sound like, was rough. And I was just like, oh, no. Well, this that show is... was just hard for you, Michael, because it was all people he knew. Yeah. And yeah, that is It hard. was only. I've done that a bunch. There was, uh, there was 12 people in the audience, and of the 12 people, I knew 11 of them yeah. by name. Some of them had held my daughter. Like, That's I, I weird. knew them very closely. And then you're like, well, the weird part is, too, and I've done this at some of our early Don't Tells, too, when just my family would come, or the other shows I used to try to produce. Whereas, like, you're standing there talking to them before the show, and you're like, yeah, we're about to get started. And then you take three steps to the right, and you go, all right, you guys ready to get started? And it's just <laughs> weird. It's so awkward, because it's like I've been talking to you for less than minutes, and now yeah. I have to, like, switch up. It's yeah. weird. I don't want to well, meet anybody in the audience before I go no, on stage. no. no. I would rather, I feel way more comfortable, and I'm sure this is very common, but I feel way more comfortable performing to complete strangers. Oh, why do you think I go to Knoxville? Than anybody I've ever even looked at. Yeah, in I my don't life. want anybody to come. You know what I mean? Like, it's nice that they're supportive, but especially like family and stuff. And yeah, well, no, like I'm talking, like I, I love when my wife comes out and supports me. I like, I love no, whenever, like, we're on, like, like the three of us, we go on a trip together and, like, yeah, well, that doesn't count, right? But, like, no, that doesn't my count. family, God, dude. I'm going to yeah. like, make you think about taking my daughter away from me. The, the first time I got to like headline my home club, I was so excited and I invited people and it was short notice, but I was like, I don't care. I just, I get to do it. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, some of my friends sat right up front 
and heckled me the entire time. Oh, Jesus. But they did it quietly so that I couldn't hear, like, no one else could hear them but me. Oh, my God. And so a couple of times I, like, responded back, but I forgot to tell the audience what they said. Yeah. Yeah. And so it was just like, I, I started spiraling in the middle of my set. <laughs> and I'm like, at one point I was just like, hey, man, you got to stop. Like, you know, I called it out and I like tried yeah. to be fun with it, but it was just like. Are you no longer friends with those people? There's no way I would talk to them again. Oh, no, we're friends. I just, oh I God. told him out. He's like, I thought I was just like joking around. And I was like, no, you were messing me up really bad. You're ruining my yeah. night. But it was my fault because I should have, especially if you're going to be a headliner, you have to be able to handle those moments. Yeah. And I, I ended up turning it around and put on a, a good show. But at the end, I freestyled. And one of the first things I did was call him out. So I freestyled about him and it crushed. Mm. And, I, and it was just like, I was like, thank God. So then <laughs> like, they're on your no. side. How much time did you do that night? You may have said. I did 40. Yeah. That's still a pretty, I, that's a I, good. I, and that was so. years ago, right? Oh, uh, yeah, that was a couple years, three years ago, I think. Oh, you know what? You haven't been on since you lost all your shit. What happened to your shit? I just realized. All my shit. You lost your jokes, right? Like, you lost your phone. Oh, yeah. You lost everything. Well, I didn't lose everything. It was a while ago. Yeah, la well, no, it was earlier this year, I think. Yeah. Um, I was at a mic, and I don't know what happened, but... <laughs> I have a folder. Well, I have lots of folders in my phone, and it's just like one of them was new material, and most of it was like stuff I had kind of honed a little bit, but I didn't know what to do, so I left it in the new folder. And I probably had like two hours worth of just like premises and jokes and random stuff, thoughts. Yeah. And uh, it all got erased, and so oh. I only was left with like <laughs> seven jokes that I'd just written. And Are I, any of them good? Well, I, I kind of thought of it like the, um, uh, what was it? Snoop Dogg was talking about one of his songs and he's like, Dre just kept making him redo it mm. over and over. And he's like, no, we got it. And it's like every time it was better. And yeah. then once he just like, yeah, hit him. but he was like it, the starting over. I feel like just kind of sparks something in you. It's like mm -hmm. you're upset. I was a very upset at first. Yeah. Well, I, I remember like, it had been like a day or two, I think, when I saw you. But we were out back in the club at Blue Ridge, and you were like, yeah, I lost everything. And I was like, I think I remember what? this now. Yeah. And you were like, yeah, a couple hours worth. And I was like sweating. But you were like relieved but, by it almost. Well, yeah, just because it's like because sometimes I'll go back and look at it, and it might work now. Yeah. Or it might work into a different bit that I was already working on. And so I always yeah. relied on that. I'm like, this stuff will come into play later. Mm -hmm. So I kept it all and I grew really close to it because I'm just like, they're like little lifelines or something. Yeah. Um, like yeah. the joke may not work, but there might be a tag in that joke that would work better with this new joke. How much, uh, how much time do you think you could do? Like they just give you a mic and tell you to go as long as you can. How much time do you think you could do? Good. Yeah, I mean chuckles at least. This you question know? is tough because I right it depends on your definition of good. Like I could talk forever. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like obviously I I don't can think talk I forever. can. I panic. But so like if I don't have something I know that's mm -hmm. gonna kill, mm -hmm. and I've been working on that. But if I don't have something that's gonna kill, I'm just like I need to get off stage. Yeah, because I'd rather just leave on a high note, not Definitely. wear out my welcome. Yeah, like leave them wanting more. Yeah, mm -hmm. I I mean I think that. But I'm I'm comfortable with thirty. Well, it obviously philosophy. serves you very well. Also, like it seems to be working pretty good. You know, like especially the leaving them wanting more things. Shout is interesting. out, baby OJ. Oh, there she is. Hi, Olivia. Sorry. Yeah, we have a Hold celebrity on. guest get on the pod. Uh oh, he's going to get her. Um, no, like the leaving them wanting more thing is interesting, Jerry, because I've seen your sets and particularly like the knockout comes to mind where it's like one minute mm -hmm. and you know we've talked about it a billion times on the show but the time you went up and you did your opener and you could have just put the microphone up and stopped and like that crowd was frantically awaiting for you to come back on stage i think it works yeah it works <gasps> we have a celebrity on the show today do. if you're just listening you're really missing out because we got we got my buddy in the room what's up buddy that's jared how you doing <laughs> 
Yeah, okay. she's actually the star of the show. She just she's up. the real star of the show. She wants to sit in my chair. That's what she's saying. Jared also just woke up. Small world. Small world. Yeah. You guys have kind of the same demeanor, you and baby OJ. Yeah. You ever been told that before, that you have no. a baby demeanor? <laughs> <laughs> I do cry a lot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you poop yourself every day. Every day. It's every, day. every day. Michael poops himself every day. That's what he said. For those of you who couldn't hear him. I uh, just want that on record. Yeah. I almost put myself on the phone. Yeah, it's not a big deal. Uh, What's up? Brief intermission for a baby introduction. Yeah. Um, we'll, we'll, cut yeah, we'll cut no, that out. Yeah, we'll cut that out. We'll leave it all in. <laughs> we'll just blur her face. <laughs> yeah. It's my um, kid. I consent. I don't know. Yeah, can you like change my voice and hide my identity <laughs> for the whole thing? Yeah, Jerry's mm. not supposed to be within 100 yards of children. So that. <laughs> no, oh, I just meant for the whole podcast. To, oh. um, oh. to be mysterious, you know? Sure. Yeah. But now it sounds creepy because like you're like, oh, there's a baby. Hide me. Yeah. She did kind of like get fussy when she saw you. So that's true. Well, not a great reaction. <laughs> and he's gone again. May have been the yeah, yeah. I do like that wig. You look like uh, uh, you know the guy who won the lottery and lost with the numbers. No, no. no. That was a weird thing to say. I don't watch. You're the guy that won and lost the lottery. No, that's a very important. Point. He won <laughs> because now he's reference? humble. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, like in the show lost. In the show lost. Okay, there's the a show. guy. Oh, I think you're saying he won the lottery with the numbers. It's the whole thing. <laughs> like, of, you don't look like him in general, but the yeah. hair looks like him, and you, how you Jared have it. Thought. You literally said these are your words. Let's go back to the tape. <laughs> Let's run it back. It, it said you said that guy who won the lottery and lost. I said in lost. We heard and lost. Okay. Even the peanut gallery heard it. And My lost. Bad. My bad. He won the lottery and <laughs> lost with Jared the numbers. <laughs> he still won because now he's humble. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about what? making the most of yeah. miscommunication. What a dumb thing that would have been. He won the lottery won. and lost. Oh, God. He learned a valuable lesson and we're all winners. Jesus. All right. He oh, won wow. five hundred thousand, but he owed six hundred. <laughs> <laughs> We're back. Uh, We're back. Uh, what a wow! A lost reference right in the middle of this episode. That's yeah. where you're at today. I get huh? that all the time. the The fat guy. I was. I said with the hair. Lost. Just the hair looked like that. Yeah. Well, yeah. He's also fat and looks yeah. just like me. No, just the hair. Uh, <laughs> sorry if you didn't know, buddy. Also, you guys, um, just we there. established already. That's literally his hair. It's just not down right. Isn't now. his I'm name like, like Chewy or something? Hugo, I think. No, in the ca the character is like Chewy. Or Hugo, something, I or, think. Or whatever. Chewy. Yeah. That's, yeah. I think that's Star Wars. That's just People his, call you Chewbacca. That's just his favorite. Uh, yeah. I think Chewy is like a company that sends you stuff for your pets. It's a Wookie. Chewy was, was the little true. person yes. from where? What about the little, who, while we're talking about LPs, who wants to talk about the little person from Love Island? Remember that? Remember that little guy? What's little his person name? person from Love uh, Island. Fantasy Island. Fantasy Island. That's Fantasy. the one. Little, uh, the little Hispanic fella. That's Chewy? No, his name's Tattoo. Tattoo. Yeah. That's right, Tattoo. Are we talking that's about like the seven Fantasy little dwarves Island. right now? What Jeez, are we talking we're about? We're back in the 70s. Hurley. Hurley. <laughs> Hurley. We're having a good Hurley. time. Hurley. Well, anyways. Uh, we were both kind of. You had the E, I had the H. This is all over the place. We, yeah. <laughs> this well, is. Someone. I just had to tell a story. Hey, hey, Meredith. Meredith Kerr. She's in the shot. Also featured. Someone. Someone once came up to me here in my Tar house. No. Um, <laughs> here in Tennessee. Uh huh. And they they said, did anyone ever tell you you look like that guy from Lost? That is and a I'm like, thing no. To say to a and I was like, though. which one? They're like. <laughs> Ah, uh, the 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 one guy. Uh, I can't remember. And so we like looked up the cast, and she goes, yeah, and she pointed at Daniel Day Kim. Who's that? An Asian fella? Yeah, <laughs> the one Is that, that plays the 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 guy there with this who beats his wife. I don't know. I didn't watch the whole show. Oh yeah. Okay. Wait a second. This but lady. She thought, she thought I was Korean. She thought I was a Korean American actor, <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like. <laughs> And it wasn't like you look like. It was like, you're him. Yeah, and I was hilarious. just like, you're delusional. <laughs> was she very old? No. She was like maybe, four, well, yeah, she's 40. Pretty old. Yeah, your age now? <laughs> yeah, pretty old. <laughs> pretty old, did, this lady. Did you drink my water? <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. You, yeah. you drank it all and then brought it back. Brought the empty glass back, yes. I just have a graveyard. The listeners couldn't be more confused right now. Yeah. This is, this is, it's I would not. And we're back. Yeah. But when uh, when no I knew cuts. we were having Jared on, this is exactly what I had envisioned for his return episode. Chaos. That sounds like uh, how you started that Chaos. sentence. When I knew we were having Jared on, it sounded like you were like uh, giving like a speech at like his wedding or something. Yeah. All I heard. When Jared asked me when to I first be his met best Jared, man. Mm-hmm. All I heard was, "There's going to be a lot of editing." Can I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe him. That's I don't edit. I, no, heavy-handed. I'll just um, go for it. Can I be in your wedding? I don't can I be your out. best man? Can I? While we're here live and you're cornered, let me ask you. Um, I don't like the ear shaking. Can I have five <laughs> minutes at your wedding? Just, just kidding. Oh, you, here's something. Actually, while well, you said that, so my coworker's getting married, and she harasses me twenty four seven. She's like my work nemesis, only friend. It's it's nice. Uh, she harassed me. Anyways, she I asked. Um, we've been into AI lately. We've been we do nothing. I love anymore. it. I broke. So, ch- sorry. Go ahead. I had ChatGPT write a um, an article, a two page article about how somehow by the grace of God she landed world famous comedian Nathaniel Booher to do time at her wedding, <laughs> and it wrote a very elaborate article with like headlines and different like headers and footers and stuff. It was it was really something anyways that's that's what came to mind there um i broke chat gpt yesterday i was were you uh, asking it to write your jokes again big scrabble guy i don't ask what nope big scrabble guy uh big scrabble guy and i was trying listen i was playing against a computer scrabble right four why are you uh, name dropping scrabble Scrabbling. Stop, don't use it as a fucking <laughs> no. Anyway, don't I use it as a verb. Put, like, I'm not scrabbling. I put like the seven <laughs> letters in my hand in the game of Scrabble that I was playing um, to see if it could make a word, and it cannot comprehend that seven. Like it cannot do it, and I was wow. mean to it. And that's not a good story. Uh, wow. All of that just to use the word Scrabble <laughs> six times. <laughs> we have a button. Which one can was we the replace sound? the button with Jared doing the sound? Yeah, do it that's one more time. The sound that I want. If I had some water. <laughs> oh, I got you. <laughs> He's panicked. He can't do it now. He'll do it. Here's, you remember from the last, he'll do it in like three minutes. Here, say so something unfunny. Something say something unfunny. Um, Here we go. I don't, I can't be unfunny on cue. I, <laughs> I can't do it. You're telling okay. me. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. I'm stuck in the yeah. why. Why did the chicken He's cross the road? He's trying to be funny. Why did the chicken cross the road? Why? To kill himself. I honestly thought you were going to say that, that you like that joke, and so you didn't make them. That was the. That's what you told me that joke was about, right? It's about sewer slide. Yeah, sewer slide. Yeah, allegedly. Sewer slide. Sewer slide. Yeah, is mm-hmm. that what the Ninja Turtles do to get back get to their past the, you know, home? The, um, you think we're big enough for that? You think we're big enough to worry about demonetization? <laughs> I don't want YouTube to take all the money we're making. You guys make show. money? Yeah. No. Are no. we making money? You run the YouTube account because may never know. Yeah. No, I don't think they pay per twenty views. Actually, I don't think. Yeah. I think. Uh, I don't think they do. I don't even think we have all of the YouTube Studio controls yet. No. Like, I think you have to have so many views, and I don't think we've hit that. So. Wow, that's pretty sad. Yeah, that's we're just doing where we're at. I think they start with like a free subscription. <laughs> this is the episode. This you is don't the have one. to pay for it anymore once because you're here. I think it's gonna blow. I'm pretty confident that you being here. Oh no, it'll off. be the exact opposite. Is, Lowest numbers. <laughs> Everyone unfollows us. Yeah. <laughs> five bucks says Meredith's gonna go get you water in that glass out of the hose outside. I bet she drinks it. Um, five bucks. She's gonna walk. I back bet I don't drink anything she brings me. You're like, yeah. <laughs> Your last episode did very good, so you give me to the coffee. Go for it. The hot, hot, give me the hot, hot coffee. coffee. Is it yeah. really hot? And it's gone. It is completely <laughs> gone. Uh, wow, a lot I of visual water. bits. Do you on want this water? I'll give you water. No, it's fine. Okay. I don't know what this is. I don't even know what I'm here for. Offering this. Jared things from my house. Do you this? want a candle? This is terrible. No. Okay. Jared, I just stopped listening, and how I'm have here. you been? <laughs> I literally quit listening. How have you been generally? How have you been generally? Just generally. That is the question from our hard hitting journalist, Michael yeah. Rose. How have you been, comma, generally? Yeah. Weather been doing good. You guys done? What's the sun right. like in Oklahoma? <laughs> What's the sun like? Yeah. Uh, sunlight in Oklahoma right now is probably <laughs> about, like, I think 15 hours, right? Is that normal? Yeah. In Oklahoma? Yeah. Wait, is it not 12 and 12 most places? Is it not like 12 and 12 here? What? Right? The sun. Like, is it? What, what time, Michael, what time does the so sun set? The only reason I learn these things is know, like because eight? I feel like you know them, 
And then I come here and you don't know about the sun patterns. <laughs> I don't know what, anything. What time does... I mean, like... He has it, a sun pattern tattooed on his arm and he still doesn't know he's anything. Like, I always the have the, the time. It's not on my fucking arm, dude. <laughs> he's like, I always have the time as long as I have the sun. Yeah. <laughs> Just, yeah. like, it's better than your Madonna he's tattoo. He's got all the planets. I, I, I Madonna do. tattoo. I don't know. Where I the feel fuck like, did Madonna come from? I feel from? like you'd have a Madonna tattoo. Those aren't... Those are just ice cream cones that he put over his nipples. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like what I was saying, and I realized why it's not the same. I we don't get like to just move on after 12. you falsely claim to have hey. a Madonna tattoo. I mean, you obviously you have a keep swastika down tattoo, ice cream but tits. I was going to keep it. <laughs> We're trying to. That you do have true. the swastika tattoo that I was going to just keep now, to see, myself. That's funny. But like. It should be 12 and 12, though. Like sunshine and <laughs> nighttime, right? Life hey. isn't fair. That's true. Balance. Day, the day people, the the day walkers, they always get more sunlight. The day walkers? Isn't that like a vampire term? I, I wish you know. guys would have. You know, you watch all those vampire day shows. Walkers? Yeah, I think that's, uh, I think that's. That's hose water. That's definitely um, hose water. Yeah, it's all right. It's fine. Is it hose water? Jared is now <laughs> drinking some water that was delivered by Meredith Kerr, and I don't, I don't trust it. Uh, it smells honest. like hose water for sure. It probably. I, I mean, she walked what? out. She went outside. Yeah, it's definitely hose water, or it's like, like fluid from her car. It's or from something. her engine. Yeah, <laughs> that's urine. That's urine. Oh, Meredith got very she's clean. She's very urine. hydrated. Yeah, yeah, that's doing true. good. Yeah, doing pretty good. Um, you seen any movies about? lately, Jared? Yeah, we just watched. Uh, what's that big one with like the guy? He's like. I love that. Like movie. Clifford the Big Red Dog. Deadpool or and Wolverine. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a good movie. Yeah. What'd you think? Well, I liked it. Um, but she was not happy with my reaction to it, I guess. You didn't like it enough? Yeah, I liked the first one better. Yeah. The first Deadpool movie? Yeah. That's, yeah, a, spy- that's a hot take, and I, I appreciate great. that. I do like the first Deadpool it's movie. Great. Yeah. I like it. Somebody told me that the uh they liked the new Deadpool movie until the end. Whenever there's like that giant fight with all the other it. spoiler alert, uh, when they have that big fight at the end, they're like, it was such a good movie, and then mm-hmm. that happened, it just seems stupid. I'm like, oh, the the best part of the fucking movie was stupid to you. Well, I I think I don't know. People probably go into it with like wrong expectations. Yeah, yeah. All the cameos people get excited about. Yeah, some people. There was a very funny cameo in that movie. Anyway, I, saw it. I like um, cameos when they're not expected. Brad Pitt had a funny cameo. I don't. Feel, I don't remember mm-hmm. if it was one or two. It was one of them. Two, but, I think. Yeah, that was the yeah. best cameo. It's like for a half of a second. Yeah, that's like the best cameo. I've are ever you seen. a movie guy generally? Do you are you? Yeah, but I, I have a hard time remembering if I've watched it. Like, <laughs> it, it's terrible. So like, you get to rewatch it. Yeah. yeah. So sometimes it's kind of cool. You get to see it for the first time every now and then. Well, I'm also trying not to watch movies over and over again yeah. i want to try to experience new movies yeah. and like new genres and like i'll yeah. just watch random stuff mm-hmm. um but have you seen korean films? sometimes oh i love korean pretty good K- korean films right now like the reality tv korean rea- reality oh, tv yeah. like there's this one show what's it called zombie verse zombie it's like a reality show or? it's a real korean reality show where like these Actors think that they're going in for like this pilot of a dating show, and then a zombie apocalypse breaks out. Oh my god! And so they're just like, "Get out of here!" And then they go outside, and there's zombies everywhere. That's horrible. And so they have to like steal cars and do all this crazy stuff. But like, no one allegedly, no one tells them mm-hmm. that it's a game show or it's like a like, show. They have to know. They or probably I, they figure would it kill out. Somebody after the first season. For well, sure. but they they do hit people. And they do crazy stuff. It's pretty cool. But it the the subtitles are so funny. Like <laughs> like there's one part where this guy this just, guy is standing on top of a car and he's supposed to be like distracting the zombies. Yeah. But they're like the zombies are reaching up and trying to grab his leg and so he's moving around and they're the subtitles say like adoring fans just want to touch. <laughs> <laughs> it's like so stupid. Poorly it, translated. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's very funny. I, um, what's the name of this show? Zombieverse. Where do I watch this? It's on Netflix. Oh, Zombie fuck, verse. yeah. It's on Korean Netflix. Korean. So I got to get like a VPN and go for it? Probably no, not. you just watch Netflix. It's probably on the US <laughs> one too, yeah. That's yeah, cool. Korean ones are good. Um, I really like Westerns too. That's a genre that not many people, young people still like, but big fan. I like everything. I really love like horror and comedy. That's, mm-hmm. my, that's two my two big ones. I remember that. I like horror, you, you comedy, like horror. and like a thriller. Yeah. It's just kind of akin to like... 
you know, kind of a horror. You yeah. Know? I like to feel small. Michael likes, have you ever, like, imagine what a 17-year-old girl puts on to go to sleep. Michael no. likes that. Kayla, a lot. we were watching Vampire Diaries. Me and Kayla were watching Vampire Diaries for a while. That's and scary. That's not scary. Well, listen, like, you have no, to I mean have, the event, not the show. <laughs> you have to have, you have to have a show. Yeah. That, like, a toddler can kind of watch right. and, like, it be fine and right. kind of engaging enough. And you can just and kind of having sex. Do you want your kid to be cool? That's the one. Yeah. She'll be cool. Let him. I mean, yeah. don't be like, hey, watch this, honey. No, we were watching. Uh, <laughs> All the cool kids go to, to school the and boys. traumatize the other kids. Yeah. I was trying to watch one. the boys, and like, I was like, oh, she's not that big. But like, I turned it on, and Olivia was like locked in, and like, mm-hmm. Hol- Homelander like murdered someone. Violently, Pretty and cool. I'm like, ooh. That My roommate can't. watches that a lot. Yeah. yeah, he likes it a lot. I um, I don't, Vampire Diaries. Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah. We have a question from the audience. Vampire on Diaries. This yeah. What's a uh, mic or up here? Yeah, mic or up. Just team baby OJ. Team baby OJ. What team is baby OJ on? Oh, what team is baby OJ on? Damon. Oh, we're a Damon family through and through. Wait, there's teams in that oh, yeah, shit too? Yeah, yeah. 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 Why are there teams with every okay, vampire? Okay, because vampires. because there's every every vampire anything. There's some 17 year old girl who's just irresistible to these like thousand year old fucking vampire, hundred year old. Do you vampires. know why that is? Because they're predators. Because no, because the show is written towards a 17 year old girl audience, and so if the fucking 17 <laughs> year old girl is the prize, then the 17-year-old girls will watch it and Michael. That's Listen, a thank you very much for proving my fucking Do you point. not watch anything with your girlfriend? Do you just like, no, we watch what I want no, only always. I watch cool shit and she makes sandwiches like it should be. Uh, That's fucking... <laughs> 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 no, she... I, I do... Here's one true thing about Haley. Clip it! <laughs> you can clip it, I don't care. Her family's gonna love that one. Uh, <laughs> she... I, she has doesn't she seen, make more money than you? Substantially. Okay. Uh, I, the reality is, but she I'm always not makes even, sandwiches. I yeah. literally no, cook kidding. every meal. That's the reality. Is I'm like, yeah. yes, dear, and then I go cook. Anyways, um, she hasn't really seen anything. She didn't grow up like watching a lot of TV or movies. So I've got to introduce her to the good shit, and then we've kind of like. What's the good shit? I'm going to be honest with like you. Like, she'd never seen Goodfellas, and we watched it, and she was like, this is amazing. And I was like, yeah, it's pretty common knowledge that that's a good movie. But she I've never seen know. the good. I've never seen Goodfellas, but you know what I have seen? Jesus Christ. All of the Twilight movies, and I fuck with those, too. So. You know, it's funny. Uh, Edward, always. I had. I'll tell you, wait, I'll tell you why I'm Team Edward. This team is, Jacob, if you guys know. Like, this is awful. Do you know I'm Twilight? Leaving. Do you know Twilight? I Jacob says the, the most fucking f- weird thing I've ever heard in any po- form of media. Whenever they have a kid, uh, Edward and Belle have a kid, he's like, I just imprinted her. And it's like, all right, dude. And it just like gave me the ick. Isn't anyway. that because he's a wolf, Edward though? Edward is abusive and controlling. Huh? Edward is abusive. They're Agreed. all abusive and controlling. Agreed. It's also a 17-year-old girl, and he's over 100 years old. Jared, so. you want to go? All right, go ahead. What were you saying, Jared? And... I'm sorry. No, I'm just listening to all this valuable information. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're the only one because everyone else clicked off. You fucking make fun of me. Fifty-eight minutes. Ago. Listen, yeah. yeah, we didn't need it. Never mind. They they always turn it on and they hear Michael's intro and they're like, "Oh, I didn't know he was there this week." <laughs> yeah, I on. get it. I'd leave. I <laughs> That's don't know true. Why. The one episode where I've hosted alone, huge numbers. We're doing oh, yeah. big stuff. Yeah, it's crazy. It's actually one of our worst performing episodes. It's, it's not a big deal. Um, <laughs> it's my worst performing episode not a big for sure. Deal. I fucking, uh, ugh, the anyway. worst. Um, Jared, Jared, have you been on? Uh, have you been on a lot of? A lot of shows lately. I know we, we kind of talked about that, and you're, you're hosting some, but like, do you have? Uh, I said a lot of shows lately, but do you have like a lot of shows coming up actually that you're um, excited for? No, I'm I'm doing a show Thursday here in Bristol, here in Johnson City, Bristol. You know, yeah. Thursday. Uh, yep. Where? So we'll Yesterday. see. I think it's eighteen eleven State Street. Where is that? At? It's like a. Oh, the venue space. Yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. I think it's 1814, but I know what you're talking about. Um, I've looked it there for Don't Tell. What what show is that? Don't Tell. Um, <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> they don't tell Don't me. tell the Don't Tell guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I don't know. They just, uh, Mighty Mouse hit me up. Oh, yeah. He wanted to do a show. Uh-huh. And then I said, yeah, I'll help you produce it. And then he was like, you're doing it. Mm. And so I was like, okay, yeah. So he's marketing it, and like, is there a headliner or is it like a Me. showcase? Thing? Oh, you're the head. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. That's what I'm saying. I was like, I can help you set a lineup or yeah. give you 
access to comedians or whatever or like help you find people mm -hmm. and yeah he he just sent me a flyer he's like i'm gonna have you headline and i was like Phew. he likes you okay he's um, sure fuck. well I, I mean i <laughs> i need that though yeah because if, if left up to me i'll be like well i'll wait show. till my car gets fixed that way i don't have to like <laughs> Everybody, coming in. I could have mic'd yeah. Meredith up, but yeah. Just for the record, we offered tried. multiple times for Meredith Kerr to be mic'd up on this show, and she said that she doesn't respect the show or like us. She doesn't respect men, men so as she a whole. Didn't. I don't respect Jared. Well, I don't know why you would. What is happening? To be fair, um, Meredith, do you have any shows coming up? Are you are you doing the eighteen? something did you just plug a show that is going to have already happened by the time this yes. podcast yes. comes out yes he did. that Thank show sure that, that show does happen, happen yesterday. well they asked me <laughs> no but that's I, a show uh yeah i well i didn't get there because they interrupted me yeah um <laughs> to be fair she interrupted i'm you. also doing uh north carolina comedy fest next oh, week cool. the 18th mm -hmm. through the 22nd and then where in north carolina is that it's in greensboro okay um, I don't know what. Did and you then <laughs> I didn't think for that. <laughs> no, it's okay. Greensboro, North Carolina. <laughs> yep. Yep. At the Idiot Box, it's okay. a fun festival. Or maybe are you just at the Idiot Box? Because I'm at both places. I haven't looked at the schedule. Um. So the Greensboro Comedy Fe or the North Carolina Comedy Festival in Greensboro, Man. North Carolina, Idiot Box for sure, some other venues as well. And then potentially once my once my house sells, I'm really gonna pick up my pace. Yeah, because then I can get a new car. He didn't use me as his agent. Just kidding. It's well, a it's different. In it's, it's, it's in Alaska. <laughs> 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 Fly out there. Yeah. And, yeah. If you want to learn Alaskan realty, yeah, for one sale. <laughs> yeah. You know a lot about the sun up there. I've heard that might help. I've heard. Um, but yeah, once I sell that, then I'll have a lot more freedom and I'll get a vehicle and I'll mm -hmm. be booking, hopefully booking a lot more stuff. You do have one more show in September also. Yeah, I don't think he's supposed yeah. to talk about it. Yeah, they told me not to tell. Yeah, I yeah. think the whole thing is like, you know, don't tell. Yeah, let's not tell it. anybody that on September 28th, 2024, you can catch Jared Hazen doing a very special when do tickets go? So I'll super special. They will go on sale this Saturday, the 14th. Like some people do Love Madison. Some, huh? some, some, some people do Madison Square Garden. Mm -hmm. I do this special show. Right. I drove by it the other day. Right. And I was like, there it is. Pretty special. There yeah. it is. Yeah. Um, Meredith, any shows you want to plug coming no. up? Any <laughs> While you're here? Um, hair. While you're here? I can't tell either. <laughs> right. Meredith also cannot tell that she will also be on a show on the 28th of September, 2024. Well, I can it's tell that Nathaniel and I are no longer friends. I can tell you that Michael will not be on it. So I can tell that uh, <laughs> yeah. I will not be But he anywhere. better be there is I, what we're going to say. I, on September 28th, will not be anywhere. He better be there. Um, but we can't tell you. Um, you got anything else you want to plug before we wrap it up? Uh, no, I'm good. Oh, we're already um, wrapping it follow up. Follow me on, well. You've got to you do have to freestyle. Oh, we're going to close with that. Don't oh, you yeah. Want? Well, we didn't even do anything funny yet. I just thought we would. Yeah, no, agreed. Let's do something funny. <laughs> What's funny? You got anything? I don't know. We talked about herpes for like 12 minutes. We did? I don't know. Herpes? I think that was on the car ride here. We can talk about herpes. <laughs> I think you guys. <laughs> we can talk about herpes. Why haven't they treated that or cured that yet? Am I right? Wow. Why would they? If you know, that's true. If you have a cure, Keep remedies, coming just back. this is a holler at me, boy. Holler at your boy. Yeah. The Why cure it when you can just make a medicine that fixes it temporary and then they got to come back in a month? You know? The Christians yeah. want you to be marked. Also true. I do like that theory. The yeah. If there's one thing the Christians want, it's like the everyone mark thinks of the, beast. the mark of the beast is the 666, six, six, but I think the mark of the beast is herpes. <laughs> yeah. It's just somebody like weirdly got it in their wrist. At the one devil's point like, we're going to let everyone know they're fun. Right. And yeah. Then, yeah. Right. It's reverse psychology, really. Yeah. Like what they're like, you better not sin, but they love it. They actually love it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're we voting for in a couple. No, I'm just kidding. You want to know? 55 days. <laughs> I don't Are know. you counting down? No, I got a text yeah, he's earlier. A real pussy. I did you get, get a text every day, apparently. No, no, no. You're not counting down, but you Because he's a real pussy. That's why. Well, you no, know. No, no, no. I got a text earlier. It's like 55 days till the election. Donate Wait, something. Can we talk about something real, real To quick? my preferred Let's political party. Real. Something. Yes, please. Something near and dear to my heart. Something yes. near and dear to your heart. 
Who was the saddest couple? <laughs> they looked so sad, Stop. and you're I, like, yeah. You gotta cut that. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta cut that. <laughs> Fuck you. Leave it in. I can't. There's you, no connecting material yeah, to no. them at all. <laughs> Fuck you. Nah. Leave it in. Let's cut. I'm not editing around that. I was Leave just laughing because I was like, I was Fuck like, you. he. You were so happy. You were like. Getting a present from your father on Christmas. <laughs> no, I was getting a present. And they were like, a paycheck. Is what I'm getting. <laughs> yeah. It's his parents. So like, it's the third one he's made us buy this year. <laughs> <laughs> it also looked like he threw her down a flight of stairs in order to get her to fix that house. <laughs> <laughs> All right, maybe we'll cut that part. Yeah. Uh, For sure. Just cutting a whole minute. Don't worry. Yeah, we're just okay. cutting a whole minute. Yeah. Um, back at it. Um, I'll no, mute. we're about I'll, to. I'll do what I did last week and just mute the. Damning part. Yeah, you just so beeped just it every time. Beep, yeah. beep, 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 yeah. beep. He did that to me last week and it pissed me off. Um, you so said yeah. it was funny. Fuck off. If um, you're listening to this episode, go get means, herpes so we know you're cool. That means that tomorrow, Saturday the 14th, I have a don't tell show. Um, our headliner is coming from Chattanooga. It's going to be a great lineup. Our friend uh, who may or may not have a Chronicles series on this show will be there and hosting the shows. It's going to be phenomenal. New venue, first time venue, it's going to be great. And then September 28th, you I can't tell you that Jared and Meredith are going to be there, so I won't. Um, September the 28th, 2024, and that's going to be a special one. And it's going to fucking sell out. So check that out. And we're, uh, anything else, Michael? Talking Bits Pod on Instagram? Yeah, Talking Bits Pod, um, Michael Rose Comedy mm-hmm. on Instagram and Threads, moving to JC on Instagram and YouTube. Yes, and remember, serious real estate questions only. Always. On accounts. Yes. Um, please do not ask anything inappropriate or condemning to Michael's personal business at all. Actually, go ahead and do it. I'll give everybody one dollar for every. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> funding I hope. I hope that. Uh, I hope that this blows up and I get an influx and like a million people leave a comment. Don't worry. And, uh, and then won't. you're gonna rob your job and pay for it. It's not a big. Well, problem. no, then you'll feel bad because I'll be like unalived and <laughs> yeah. And you'll be like, man, if only I wouldn't have made him think it was real. Or you'll suicide yourself. (laughs) (laughs) Sewer slide. Um, Sewer slide, my bad. So that's it. We're going to wrap up with a a feature from our friend Capital Nugget. I have probably the same beat that you did last time, but it's been a year. So you've had a year to write and think on it. You ready? Oh, I, it's, yeah. Oh, it's pre written? Oh, what do you got? It's not pre written. No, it's not freestyling if he writes it. Oh, I got confused. I thought she said it's not freestyling. He has it pre written. All right. Um, Hold on, you ready? But like off record, still rolling. <laughs> off record, oh, off record. I didn't mean to press that button, but that was kind of funny. Jesus anyway. Christ, was it a fart noise? It was. This is the worst. Okay, what, what? what you got before I press the uh, the beat? Oh, I was just gonna say I would like to like flow a little bit and like before we yeah. actually get started. Yeah, because last time you guys cut me off right when I was getting good. You're getting pretty good. We're gonna let you go. You go I'm as long scared. as this sound goes, and then we'll loop it. You don't have another beat though. No, I I don't. <laughs> That's literally I, the only one. Yeah. I can only freestyle the one song. You got it. We won't look at you. What's this the is, one song? This is yeah, Capital Nugget. Don't make eye contact. Okay. What, you guys have a topic? What do you want me to rap about? Whatever's on your mind. You want me to restart the beat? Vampires. Yeah. Restart it. Vampires. We're starting over. Vampires. Why don't you rap about yeah. Yeah, rap about us. Rap about the show. Let this will be our new intro ready. song. You really could record us an intro song. Let me know when you're ready. You good? Nobody's making eye contact. I don't give a fuck if I ever come back. I'm trying to think of things to say out loud, but everything that keeps on coming to my mouth is dog shit like Michael Rose's face. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get serious. Yeah. I see that you still got the tree. Did you find the poop from me? When I squatted over it. Bro, I totally took a shit. Now I'm coming off the top and I'm drinking this hose water because that's all they got. Yeah. Hey, talking bits, bitch. We'll cut that last part out. Um, <laughs> you got another word? Well, the original word was vampire. Oh shit! Here we go. <laughs> you want me to start it over? Yeah, we started over. All right. Hold on, I gotta get in the zone. Let the beat drop. I think the beat already dropped. 
Yeah. One, two, three, go. He wanted me to rap about vampires, but I don't got anything to talk about them. <laughs> These vampires are fucking shiny, bro. I don't even know. I'm just coming off the top and trying to find my flow, but he keeps taking me back to these 17-year-old girls having sex with a thousand-year-old wolves. And, you know, it's just kind of weird sometimes. Okay, here we go. Start it <laughs> All over. Right, start Let's it go. Over? Okay. All right, we're just going to palate cleanse real quick. We're gonna, Are we leaving all this in? Oh, of Are course. We? <laughs> we're going to palate Jesus cleanse. With just, uh, if you made it this long in the episode, you're getting a real treat. Oh, yeah. Put yes. that back on. We're pal- right. we're just palate cleansing? Just press all the little buttons, and I'll try to. All right. All of them? What a word. Do, do we need a word? Do you need a word? Or are you just Yeah, go? something not like vampires or something. Uh, yeah. Talking uh, bits. Just use talking bits. I tried that when you didn't like it. Mugs. I loved it. Hugs? I said a bug because I was looking mugs? at the mug. Mugs? Okay. All right. Mugs. Or hugs. Or hugs. Mugs and hugs. They rhyme. Bugs. I like how I keep trying to scratch my eye through my glasses. Hugs. Oh. Okay. Jugs. Okay. Rewind. Right. Rewind? I don't have that one, but that's the rewind. Jesus okay. Christ. Please just fucking hit the button. I'm waiting for him to be ready. Are you just ready? Hit the button. You ready? Yeah. You said hit the button. Yeah. What? Mm hmm. Mugs, bro. We shouldn't be giving out hugs. We shouldn't be taking these drugs. We should be having the mugs full of coffee for our friends and the homeless. Yeah. (laughs) All right. All right. We'll we'll flex. Start over. You ready? Hold on. Can I look at you now? Because I feel weird. I, I keep... Yeah, make make eye contact. Okay, cool, cool, Intense cool. eye contact. You ready? Try to include the word Alaska. Alaska? Yeah, see if you can get all 50 states in That's there. Tough. All right, all 50 states. Yeah, in alphabetical order. Here's all 50 states that I know in alphabetical <laughs> order in a rap. <laughs> that I know? <laughs> I can't it's rap. just Alaska and Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. alphabetical order, at least. Uh, yeah. All right, you ready? <laughs> way to ruin the bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You ready? Yeah. I know y'all been wanting me to list the 50 states. And so here it is. Mm. You know we're heading down to Alabama. Then we're going to Alaska for a hammer. Just kidding. That's in Oxford, Tennessee. <laughs> Those are the only fucking three that I know. <laughs> I just like for a second you guys were like Alabama, Alaska, Arizona. <laughs> Sing it. Shout out to Peyton. Song. Oh gosh. All right. All right. That's our show. I think that's Whatever our show. Whatever the fuck this last hour and fifteen minutes was. Yeah. Is apparently our show. That's talking bits. Um, hey, but- I know you guys already follow me on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Um, just find me on the other stuff too. Yeah. yeah. You hear that, Joe? What's the other stuff? <laughs> follow him. Follow me on Joe, OnlyFans. OnlyFans, yeah. Threads. I think I plugged that last time. Tumblr. Yep. OnlyFans, Capital Nugget. MySpace. That's it. We love you. Bye. Bye. Bye.